this is not your typical West Virginia mountaintop. It's a place that's been called America's Taj Mahal, a permanent home for a group of spiritual devotees that many of us think of as wanderers. This is New Vrindavan, named after a holy city in India and the home of the largest Hare Krishna community in America. When they're not standing on street corners singing in saffron robes, some followers of this religious group come here to New Vrindavan. It was completed in 1979 as a shrine to the late founder of the Hare Krishna movement, a man called Srila Prabhupada. Unpaid devotees built this palace on top of an old garbage dump and claim they developed their building skills by using their Krishna consciousness. Its dome is covered with 22 karat gold leaf. Inside, its floors and walls are made of dozens of different kinds of marble from 17 countries. But controversy plagued New Vrindavan from the start. In the 1990s, its leader, a New York State native who went by the name of Swami Bhaktapad, was sentenced to 12 years in jail for racketeering. Charges that centered around his selling of fake souvenirs of Snoopy and other cartoon characters, and accusations that he engaged his followers to murder two other Hare Krishna devotees. Once, money from sales of tickets to the palace flooded New Vrindavan's coffers. But these days, this Hare Krishna community is striking it rich from a boom that lies right under their dancing feet. New Vrindavan sold the natural gas rights to its 4,000 acres for $10 million. Money, it says, will go to refurbishing its palace of gold. <laughs>